Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question valid palindrome. So this is a pretty classic question. And what we're going to do in this question is we're going to be given a string and we need to determine whether or not it's a palindrome. And we only need to consider alphanumeric. So what is an alphanumeric character? So that's anything from A through Z or from the numbers 0 to 9. So for example, in this question over here, we're going to ignore the colon, we're going to ignore the commas and all of that, okay? And we're also going to ignore the cases, so we don't care about the cases. And for this purpose of the def uh, for the purpose of this problem, we define an empty string as valid palindrome. All right, so before we get into question, uh, what even is a palindrome? So a palindrome is when uh, when you go from left to right, it's the same as reading it from right to left. So for example, over here, we have a man, right, in the beginning. And if you look at it backwards, so we have the a over here, and then we have m, a, n. And then if you want to keep going, there's an a here, there's an a over here. And then over here, it says plan, p, l, a, n. Over here, we also have p. We're going to ignore this since it's not an alphanumeric. And then l, a, n. And then we have a over here, a over here, and then c. So there's two ways we can solve this problem. We can first uh, have one list which iterates through everything from left to right. And we're going to have another list with, which iterates through the alphanumerics from right to left. And if both of these lists are the same, that means that we found our answer. But the runtime for this is going to be longer since we need to iterate through our list two times. So is there any solution where we can just iterate through it once or even lesser? And the answer is yes. So let's look at what that solution looks like. So let's just take the same example that we have over here. And it is a palindrome, so we're going to return true. And we're going to use the two-pointer method. And all it is is we're going to have two pointers, so a right and a left pointer. The right pointer is going to start at the very ending of whatever our string is. In this case, it's going to start at the last letter, which is A. So our right pointer starts from there. And our left pointer is going to start from the first letter, which is A. So this is going to be our left pointer. And all we're going to do is we're going to compare the left and the right pointers until there's a point where they're not the same. So what I mean by that is, so we're going to look at the left pointer here. Then we're going to compare that to the right pointer. So we have A on the left and we have uh, A on the right. So that's correct. So now in this case, we're going to move the left pointer by one. So now our new point, left pointer is going to be here. And our right pointer, we're going to decrease it by one. So we're going to move it over here. And over here, we have left M. And on the right, we also have M. So we're going to keep going until the pointers collide. And once they colli collide, uh, that means that we found ourselves an answer. Now, let's look at a case where we're not going to find an answer, right? So our left pointer starts from here. Our right pointer starts from here. And so in the beginning, we have R in the left and we have R in the right, and that's good. So it's correct. So now we're going to change the pointer. So change the left to the right by one over here, and we're going to change the right to the left by one. And then we have A and A, so that's also good. Then we go to C over here, and we go one over here, so that's C and C. But then once we go one more over to the left and one by the right, we're going to have E and A. And E and A are not equal to each other. So anytime that when we do not we anytime we have two letters which are not the same, we're gonna return false. So in this case, the answer for that specific string is gonna be false. It's not a palindrome. And one last thing that we need to consider is we're only gonna be looking at alphanumerics. So let's say there's gonna be a point where our right pointer is gonna come over here. And once it comes over there, we're going to skip it by one. So in this case, since we have one, uh, we have something which is not an alphanumerical, we're going to uh, just cross this out and we're going to skip it and go to the next one. So we're going to move to L. So anytime we do not have an alphanumerical, we're going to skip it. And let's just look at one more condition. So let me just write it over here. So this over here is our string. And we have a col, so we have three colons, right? And then we have the letter A. So what we're going to do is our left pointer is going to start over here. And just to see how it works is, since this is not an alphanumeric, we're going to go to the next 
uh, character. So this is also not an alphanumeric. So we're going to go to the next character again. And we're going to keep going to the next character until we find something which is an alphanumeric. So then we're going to do it again. And then A is an alphanumeric. So then we're going to stop moving our left or right pointer. Okay, so now that we understand this, we can write the code. It's a pretty simple question and let's see how we can do that. Our first step is to initialize our left and right indexes. So our left is going to start off at zero and right is going to start off at the ending. So the length of S minus one. So now that we have this, we're going to enter into a while loop. So while left is left and right. And now we're going to enter into two more while loops. So what these while loops are going to do over here. So let me show you. So first let's look at our left index. So let's say whatever is at the left index is currently not an alpha numerical. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the value of our left index until we get to something which is an alpha numerical. So in order to check that we have a function in Python. So we're going to go to whatever is at the left index over here and we're going to call the dot is al num function and it checks whether or not something is an alpha numerical. So in this case, if something is false, so which that's why we did end not um, is al uh, numerical. So if something is false, that means that it is not an alpha numerical and we're going to change our, so we're going to increase our left value until we get to something which is an alpha numerical. So now we're going to do the same thing, but instead of left, we're going to do it for the right. So we're going to call over right over here. We're going to call right here and we're going to decrease it by an index of one. Okay, so now that we have this, we need to check whether the left, whatever is at the left index and whatever is at the right index have the same value. So if SL is not equal to SR, then in that case, we're going to return false. Oh, sorry. Yeah, false. So uh, that means that they're not the same letters, which is why they're false. But one more thing we need to consider here is our pal. We don't care about the case. They're not case sensitive. So we're going to change everything to the same case. So in this case, I'll just make everything uppercase. If you want, you can make everything lowercase. It does not matter as long as they're the same case. So now after we do that, we're going to go to the next index for the left one and we're going to uh, decrease our index for the right one so we can check for the next characters. So now we're going to be in this uh, while loop for two conditions until the letters are not the same or once uh, the value of left is equal to or greater than right. And at that point, if that happens, we're going to exit out of our while loop and we're going to return true because we know that everything does match. All right, so now let's submit our answer. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, do let me know what you thought about this video or if you have any questions regarding this. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. And do let me know what you thought about it. Thank you.